guys, welcome back to USA to Philippines live channel. I'm really, really thankful of my job. I know it's really so tiring, but it is. There's really a lot of pressure. It. I really too. love it. But only one thing and my experience here in the US, you know, it's like Oh, what they call this? Nursing home. It's a oh, big business. Here. Yeah, yeah, she it's did a that big for business. How long were you at the nursing home before you came to the hospital? It's like, it's like one, you, one year. One year, yeah, you yeah, did a year one there. One year. And then I work in a nursing home, but you know, since before when I was young I already start to love the taking care of the elderly people. Right, that's her specialty. She takes care of the uh, elderly, and you have a big heart for the elderly. And, and uh, I know from working in the hospital myself that that's a very tough um, field, and uh, it takes a special person to be as mm -hmm. good at it as you are. Uh, and you are definitely have a big heart for the for the elderly, and uh, I salute you for that. I'm very thank, proud of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then one more thing is, I learned, I said to myself, when I started working in the nursing home or like in, like, uh, what to call this, uh, until I got my job in the hospital, and I start to love this. Um, it's, it's, it's really touched my emotion. And, uh, I don't want to crack this. I don't want to ruin my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I love the elderly people. And they love Sometimes, you. Sometimes it's so hard and difficult to deal with them. But one thing I learned in life, a time will come you're getting older. We're all on our way there. We're going to get there sooner or later. But uh, I think one thing that you've, brought to, to my attention in your experience since you've been here uh, the, with the elderly um, is that a lot of them are forgotten. It's true. Right? You know, a lot of them are forgotten and, and they're not in, in some of the places, not, not at our place, but some of the places uh, they don't treat them that well. And um, that's, a, that's a tough thing to, mm -hmm. to know about. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, even though the America is a rich country, but it's a lot of people here. They have a sad life. You know, when they're getting older, I know there's a nursing home who taking care of them. They work harder for them for themselves till they're getting old. They have money to pay to pay for themselves to pay the nursing home. But you know what? Money is like for me is worthless without your family beside you till the time you will die and uh, I and I really promised to myself that I said to my husband if if someday we already live in the darling, I can't, live in the Philippines if you get sick and you're getting older, I will send. I will not send you back to the U.S. And I well, said, that makes me feel good. I said to him, "You will." I die. know when I tell people that I want to go and retire in the Philippines, a lot of the first thing that I hear is, "What are you going to do about health care there? What are you going to do when you get old?" And uh, I have an experienced elder care professional who's going to take care of me. Mm -hmm. So that, that makes me feel good. Although we're not that far apart in age. We're only 11 years. I'm only 11 years older than her, so we're, we're going to grow all together. Uh, and that's a good thing. I like that we're that close in age, though. You challenge me. Yeah. You challenge yeah. me. You definitely challenge me. You're not a, you're not a pushover. Mm -hmm. you're, you're a tough girl. Just, just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's talk about, I don't know, you want to talk more about your impressions 
of the U.S. Uh, yeah, and then one more thing: if you already, if you have a chance to get here, and you married one of them, and you are able to work and have the opportunity to earn money more, don't spend your money, your money in uh, like nonsense, nonsense things. Like a lot of things is for the girls here. You know the the dress, everything. It's really famous in here. It's like you'll be crazy you know there's a lot of competition between yeah. the ladies mm -hmm. to have the best stuff the nicest stuff and outdo each other the guys do it too you know they do it too with the cars and the trucks i know i'm guilty of it to some degree i just bought a new truck last year <laughs> that i really like but you know i were i drove old cars all my life up until uh recently so uh it feels good to have a new vehicle for a change and I'm in my 50s and I've worked hard all my life but get back to what you were saying uh, you know to the ladies when they come here to try not to get caught up in all of that mm. and and just you know waste the money on things that uh, are important today uh, in six months it's in the closet you're not touching it anymore yes yeah, save your money save your money you know someday a time will come you are going you will just you will know if you're already here you will understand what i mean so even in our uh what they call this immigration thing i decided not i decided i think it's okay to say something like that i think so you're, you're so i decided not to uh become a u.s citizen so just I decided, permanent yeah, resident. just permanent, permanent resident, resident because and there's a reason. Of, of the reason we want to retire in the Philippines because right. I don't want someday even though I would be I'm going to I, I can process a dual citizen citizen but well we still may go that route we have to research a little more yeah but for me I don't want to deal to government uh, to govern I still right. need to deal with the U S you still need to deal with the go uh, you uh, Philippines. And someday you will end up nothing because one of them, they're not going to shoulder you because you, you are a citizen of both country. So I don't know how it works, but it's not really like my thing to become a well, dual citizen. I think the thing that that is uh, things like for the Philippines owning property and things like that get dicey if you're uh, no longer a citizen. Mm -hmm. Right? Isn't that uh, part of it? Yeah, and uh, owning the property in the Philippines is its really hard if you are a citizen or a dual citizen. I think you still can own, but it's limited. Right, like me, I, like if I was a, a didn't have you and I re, uh, retired to the Philippines, I think I can buy a condo or i can buy a house but i can't own the property that the house sits on it works something like that and please uh correct me or uh if you have a little more information on that uh, i know I've, I've watched a lot of videos and read a lot about it but something along those lines yeah um, i think if you are a, a u.s citizen and you are not a philippine uh filipino citizen then you can buy a condo but the problem is if, but you can't own any land from the Philippines, like you just only up to condo or you can buy a car. But I think if you want to live in the Philippines till the end of your life, then I think much better to have your own. But everybody have their own style right. and idea. But for me is my husband is already American citizen and to be a, uh, uh, a green card, green card holder, I think it's enough because yeah, they renew every ten years. Yeah, every ten years they are renewing. So still, I'm still part of the U.S. So for me, it's not really. I think for me, it's not really necessary to be a U.S. citizen or do well in the U.S. citizen. And beside, we don't have really plan to retire in here. Hmm. So for me, it's like to maintain a U.S. citizen is also part of a job. You need to maintain it. So 
I don't know how it works, but for me, as I, uh, I, I search for a lot of uh, search, uh, a lot of I search a lot, and so far this is the choice that I know it's more work for our plan to retire in the Philippines. Because I think for me, it's, uh, I am more favored to have our own than to rent. So I'm really not a big fan of renting. So I really want to have our own. Because like, like the house, you can do anything you want. You can, uh, like, you have more peace if you have your own. So I don't know to those people they have their own choice also they have their own idea and uh, procedure how how it works for their retirement someday so for us that's our plan uh, hope you will learn from our experience if not then it's okay also but that's all that's only and, for and us. we're not etched in stone with that yet you know we still doing uh little bit of research and mm -hmm. trying to work it all out but as of right now it seems like uh, the best plan for us uh, yeah. going forward um, based on you know what we've already got going on over there um, without complicating anything um, you know so yeah but it, it may change it you may may end up doing the dual citizen option maybe for the kids I will but for myself I think I already decided not to because I'm getting older if I'm going to make it a dual citizens for what use I don't need it anymore right so I think for the kids because they're still young and they still have a lot of opportunity for their lives I think yeah, maybe do wanna, yeah do you want to talk about the kids you got uh the kids over there, two kids over there. Yeah, I have the, my kids is in the Philippines. They're staying with Nanai. Yes, they are with my my mom. So hello, oh, Nanai. Saw... Hi, kids. <laughs> miss you. <laughs> it's really we hard. We do right? miss them. It's really hard right now because we really want to go home, but we can't go home because of this uh, situation. Especially, they said Ilo Ilo is one of uh, a lot of. Uh, positive yeah in, uh, they, uh, I think last week I was reading the uh, the hospital beds uh, critical yeah, care they were it's, just about out of beds it's really uh, sad so it's, um, it, it's really so frustrating because you really want to go home and yeah. see them sometimes I'm worried because I experience those kind of situation that I know it's really hard like oh it's I don't I can't explain how hard it is well, but it's, it's really hurt for those people that they lost their loved ones mm. that they can't even see the body anymore mm. just yeah. the ash yeah we can't really talk too much about what we've seen as healthcare workers here uh, we're just really not allowed to talk about uh, the stuff that we saw but uh, it was uh, on her end and my end, two different ends of the mm. business, we both saw things that uh, not good, and uh, we're glad it's over here. Um, and we feel for uh, the countries that are still in the thick of it, and we pray that um, they'll get out of it and get to where we are too. But you know, well, there's a news that there is a Delta variant again. Uh, as of uh, the other uh, yesterday. It said uh, that the Delta variant has not re um, yet been seen in the Philippines. But that's as of recently, but, but that, that could change. They have already here? No? Yeah, they have it here. And they also said that the vaccines should pr uh, protect you from that variant. Mm. So, you know, again, that, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people are on the fence about the vaccinations to get it, not to get it. Uh, it's a personal choice um, we we took it uh, you know mostly because of where we work um, it was just the right thing for us to do um, and as we said in previous videos we're, we're we've had the Moderna we had both both doses back in February and we're fine so um, if that helps you um, 
you know, we feel strongly, we know a lot of people don't feel the opposite. Uh, I get that, um, but uh, we felt strongly about doing it. And uh, we, we know from here that because the people are getting vaccinated in this state especially, you know, the numbers are, are, are disappearing, the positive numbers. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they'll start getting some people vaccinated. I know they're already doing it, but we just hope that it, they pick up the pace. Uh, I know uh, I've posted a video about uh, recent news uh, that there's a lot of vaccines uh, being shipped over there to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So we just hope that uh, the distribution um, gets out there and people uh, don't be afraid of taking it and they get the second shot too. Yeah. It's uh, very important that they get both. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Salamat po.